go. Hey guys, me and Chili are at the airport. She's about to go to Spain for like Again. two years. <laughs> two years? It's only going to be six days. That's like two That's years. It. And the only difference this time is that I'm not going to be completely alone. Tito's going to be at the house, but he's dead inside, so it's going to be like I'm alone. Well, at least it's not going to be as long. That's what she said. Wait. Anyway, so we're at the airport. She's about to get on her flight to go to yep. Atlanta, and then she's going to Atlanta Are to Madrid. Are you going to go crazy again and start doing weird vlog videos? Yeah. Oh, oh my Super Mario Logan channel is going to get deleted. Oh. So I'm going to have to completely lose my shit. <laughs> Are you going to wait for me at the smile cam? <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah? Well, you have TSA pre check, don't you? Yeah. Okay, then maybe. All right, I'm gonna take the camera. I left the camera for Logan. There he is. Oh, I was walking around, so I could be right here. There you go. Aw. I'm gonna miss you again. And also, I'm you're not centered. Boom. I'm gonna miss you so much. I was just nervous and worried. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, let me turn off the camera so that we can give each other a real hug. That was just for the fans. Okay. All right, everyone. So right now we are laying over in Atlanta. Um, I'm at the Delta Sky Lounge, and I'm gonna vlog on the flight because it's gonna be really cool. We have like the lie flat bed seats, so we're gonna see how that is. And I'm gonna go outside because in the lounge you can there's like a balcony out there where you can see all the planes. So I'm gonna take you guys out there, and then we'll get on our flight. Oh man, check this out. This is the coolest airport lounge I've ever seen. There's a smaller plane there, and that one is ours. That's at gate F12. Look at how big that thing is. Man, that's awesome. This lounge is crazy. Dang, I love it. I wish I was out here more often, but I had to edit and I couldn't see the screen on my computer while I was out here. I can barely see it on my camera, actually, because it's so bright today. I can barely see my camera screen right now. Anyways. Let's go on this flight because it's gonna be awesome. We have first class and it's a Delta One flight, which means that we have a live flat bed, so it's gonna be awesome. I keep saying we because my dad's with me, but I just haven't shown you guys him because he hasn't really been around. Your feet need to be completely clear. Rollerboards fit better on the window side overhead bins, straight in. Smaller items such as backpacks. <laughs> We got a fluffy pillow and a nice big comforter. This is the massage button. It's not one of those regular full-on massage chairs, but I've tested it and it feels really nice. I actually prefer this massage over the regular massage chairs. This is a cute little case full of items that they give us. I'll open it up. Alright, so there's hand sanitizer, an eye mask, a toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs, some tissues, lip balm, and some lotion. Got a cute little pen. Check that out. And then, and then we have some mouthwash. And we got some socks. All right, so this is the menu. We're gonna have dinner and breakfast. All right, so I chose the beef filet, so we'll see how that looks like. It comes with all that as a starter. I think I'm gonna get the ice cream sundae for the dessert, and then I chose the breakfast casserole. All right, so we just got our appetizers. We got a salad, and I think that's tuna. And we got bread and, and a soup. So now I just got my steak and it's got mashed potatoes and looks like red pepper and it looks good But we'll see how it actually tastes All right, and now we got an ice cream sundae That's what I chose and I told her to put chocolate on it and that looks so good Ice cream with chocolate fudge I'm also watching the movie Ferdinand since it's based in Spain and we're going to Spain Oh my god, I just noticed that the spoon is shaped like a heart. This is so cute 
my god, I love this spoon. I want it. All right, everyone. So I finally landed in Spain. We have all our bags. We have a lot of stuff. So that's my dad's backpack. That's his suitcase because he's going to be gone for like a month. So he has a gigantic suitcase. And then he's got like a carry-on suitcase. And then here's my suitcase right there. I know I didn't bring the Calvin Klein one. But that's because I needed something slightly bigger. So I went with that one. And this military bag is for my sister. She shipped something to my house and she's like, I need you to pack it up. And I left the military bag there and I just need you to bring it over. I think it's like some kind of thing for when she goes on her trip with my dad. Cause they're like traveling Europe together. It's gonna be my sister, her husband, my dad, and like her two kids. They're going to like London, Germany, like just a whole bunch of places. That's why my dad packed up a lot of stuff. And that's why my sister needed us to bring some stuff over. Um, yeah, and I got my backpack here. And I'm not that tired because of that lie flat bed. It was so nice. I put the seat way back and I just passed out. It was so nice sleeping on that plane. So we ended up having to land at a nearby airport by my sister's house just because of the time that my first flight arrived in Spain. The layover for the closest airport to my sister's house was gonna be like five hours and this airport, which isn't too much farther away, it's probably an extra 20 minute drive. The layover was only two and a half hours. So that was good, that's why we landed here. Whoa, that's really loud, but it's pretty cool. Check it out. Oh, he's drifting. Tokyo drift, skirt. Anyways, I will probably pick up the vlog camera whenever my sister gets here. She's late, she's always late. We have to wait like another 45 minutes for her. It's gonna suck. Hey everyone, so we are at my sister's house. It is about 10 o'clock at night, and what I love about Spain is that even though it's 10 o'clock at night, the sun is still like just now setting. So they have daylight for such a long time. And the reason why I love that so much is, is that as you guys know, we're always out really, really late. So having sunlight for that long is awesome. Also, here are Snowball's puppies. They're much more bigger than her, much more bigger than Blizzard. This one right here looks a little bit more like Blizzard or actually a lot more like Blizzard. And he even acts like Blizzard too. Oh, you're so pretty. Sometimes we call him Blizzard 2.0. I used to call him that last August. He's a lot taller than Blizzard too. And this big dog, he goes by the name of Bolt. Hey, Bolt. He likes to howl a lot. Just like Snowball, it's so adorable. Hi to the viewers. He did say hi to the viewers, you're right. Stormy, I think is so beautiful. Looks just like his daddy, Blizzard. He looks a little bit more like Snowball. He's got a little bit of brown in his eye, just like Snowball. She has just a little speck. He's got a lot more. He's got like half a brown eye. If you can just stay still. Ah, I think I got it, but I kind of missed it at the same time. Oh my God, look, they also sort of have a digging problem, just like my dogs. If it would focus a little bit. Let's see, there we go. Look at that hole, look at that hole, look at that hole. Oh my gosh. You are huge. <laughs> Like, you're like a, you're literally like the size of a small bear. <laughs> I know. He outgrew Snowball and Blizzard. <laughs> Storm is pretty big, but he's mainly just taller. He's just, he's taller than Storm, and he's bigger than Storm and Snowball. But they're both all super sweet. So I'm going to end the vlog with them for the next few days, since they're going to be the, the Blizzard and Snow 2.0. <laughs> Also, if you guys haven't noticed, his name is Bolt and his name is Storm. And both of their initials are S and B, just like Snowball and Blizzard, they're S and B. The reason why I named him Bolt when he was a puppy is because when he was super, super young, you could see a lightning bolt mark in his chest. And obviously it's not there anymore because he's so darn fluffy. But it was shaped like a lightning bolt and so I called him that. And Storm, well, I just wanted to give him some type of weather name because we have Snowball, Blizzard, weather names. We have Bolt, that's a weather name, and then we have Storm, that's a weather name. And it starts with an S, like Snowball and Blizzard. So, that's the story behind their names. If you guys are wondering how long I'm gonna stay here for, it's only gonna be until the 15th. So don't worry guys, it's not gonna be very long. I am so scared of what Tito and Logan are gonna do at the house alone. I'm really hoping they don't burn the house down, but I mean, we'll see. Look at these guys, oh my God, they're so beautiful and they're so big. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. All right, let's go inside, buddy, come on. Come on, Bolt, let's go inside. If you guys remember the last time I was in Spain, the doorknobs are all in the middle of the door. It makes no sense.
We're gonna do a few fun things while I'm here, and then I'm gonna be right back home super quick. And I love you guys, and me and the doggies will start seeing you at the end of all the vlogs now. Blizzard 2.0 and Snowball 2.0. And I will see you Chili Peppers tomorrow. Bye.